Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to make a basic 3D impeller pump in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now first we will make the outer housing. We will make this outer housing first. Then we will make the plate profile. So go to 2d sketch we will select the xy plane for outer housing go to line command make a line over here we will make a rough profile first this sketch this till here ok and escape now go to extend this line go to line this will be till here one profile here and this and this also ok now trim this extra profile now we will give the dimensions <coughs> first ok make a center line over here so select this center line go to line command and from this point make a center line and escape now turn off the center line ok now go to dimensions from center line this dimension will be at a dia of 145 degree 145 dia ok now as you can see this is not vertical so by selecting this select vertical constraint now it is vertically aligned escape now go to dimensions from this center line this dia here will be of 100 mm and this dia will be at 35 and this will be at 22 ok <clears throat> now by doing this here give dimension as 4 mm and this vertical height as 3 mm and this dimension will be 12 mm and the ok ok now go to R command select this point and select this point ok go to dimensions select this and give a radius of 25 ok now go to tangent constraint select this line and select this arc similarly select this line and select this arc ok now this is defined now go to dimensions give this total length of 50 mm ok now to make it defined from here select vertical constraint select the center point and select this point now this is vertically aligned ok now we will make one more profile go to line command make a profile over here till this here a taper profile and join here ok go to dimensions the distance from here will be at 17 mm and this thickness will be 3 mm and this thickness will be 2 mm ok I will zoom it now this horizontal distance 10 mm and the angle here will be of 110 mm ok now from here the distance will be of 10 mm and go to horizontal constraint 
select this point and select this point it will be horizontally aligned or you can align from here also now escape now all sketching dimensions are given you can note down the dimensions okay so this will be like this okay now you can note down all the dimensions now finish sketch and here go to revolve command select this profile and select this profile go to access to revolve and select the center axis <coughs> now ok now we will make the blade profile so select this back face and go to create sketch it is normal go to view change the visual style to wireframe now go to sketch select the line command here we want to make a vertical and horizontal reference line so from here select construction geometry select this point and select this point similarly select this end and select this end ok and escape now you can see it is dragging so go to coincident select this line and select the center point similarly select this line and select the center point now you can see the line color has changed to blue so it is constrained now go to line command once again from this center point make a line here escape you can see under defined line is always in yellow now go to dimensions here give angle as 45 degree ok now go to arc command and select 3 point arc from this point till here make one arc now escape select this arc and make it a normal line so switch off the construction geometry it will be a solid line go to dimension here give a radius of 45 ok now go to offset command select this arc ok now you can see it is selecting the below line also escape go to offset right click and here turn off loop selection now select this arc drag the mouse upward enter and here give distance 3 mm ok skip select ok turn off this select this and turn off this construction ok now drag this up and drag this ok now go to trim trim this extra profile here and similarly extra here ok skip double click this and again write 3 mm ok now you can see the 3 mm profile now we want to close this profile so go to r command select this point and select this point and here make one arc similarly select this point and select this point make one arc now to make it constrained go to concentric constraint select this arc and select this outer circle now you can see the arc is merged similarly select this arc and select this circle now here profile is complete ok now this is the profile now finish sketch go to view change the view to shaded with edges we have made profile on this face this back face now rotate it and select this face and go to create sketch ok now go to view visual style and change it to wireframe ok now here go to sketch select this line project ok 
project they uh, go to construction project this and project this okay and scale now you can project this also so go to project okay it is not selecting so go to line command make line here similarly one line here okay now you can hide this sketch also finish sketch select this hide otherwise you will get confused okay double click this now go to line command make a line over here escape select this line go to construction geometry now go to dimension this line with this will be at 45 degree okay now we will make a arc profile go to arc from this point till this point okay we will make one arc this is the previous 45 degree line now go to dimension here give dimension as 45 radius now similarly go to offset select this arc drag mouse upward enter and give offset of 3 mm and escape double click this and give 3 again okay now drag it inside okay now go to trim trim this and trim this now similarly we will close this profile go to arc select this point and this point similarly select this and this and drag it outside okay go to concentric select this circle and this arc similarly this circle and this arc ok escape now select this projection make it construction and select this product projection make it construction only this profile should should be in the solid line finish sketch now activate this also select this go to visibility now this will be the two sketches here you can see this will look like this now you want to join these two so from here go to sketch and select 3d sketch now go to arc command and select this end point this tip and select this end point ok and drag arc here now you can see escape now drag it inside ok rotate this it will look like this the arc profile should be inside these profiles you can give it a dimension here you can give it dimension 180 radius and finish go to view go to ok first we will give the command go to 3d model and here give loft select this profile and similarly select this profile now go to rails it is for guiding and select this line now you can see the profile otherwise you would not be able to make the loft profile and press ok ok now go to view change the visual style to shaded with edges now you can see here a bleed profile being constructed inside take the top view this will be the blade side 
now we will, we will pattern this so go to 3d model go to circular pattern and select this loft profile go to rotation axis and select this circle here give count of 5 and ok now this will be the profile I will show you from side it will look like this ok now go to home rotate it now select this face go to create sketch we will cut a key slot so go to rectangle and select two point center rectangle select this edge here give six tab six ok go to vertical constraint select this point and select the center point now it is constrained go to 3d model extrude select this profile drag it outside for cut and ok so this will be a through cut ok now you can assign the uh, color or the appearance from here we will take chrome polished ok now it is looking nice so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a impeller pump in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you